It was not the first time his boss had returned from the forest with a tale she wanted to share. Some stories were exciting and short, some were thrilling and suspenseful, others were woeful. The forest was an island not far from the mansion. It housed thousands of identical trees, nothing else. No animals or insects. But those trees had a secret. They were doorways to different realms. Doug gathered that no doubt this time his boss had entered one of those realms and grasped her story there. His job was to write the tale down while she narrated it. Polka Dot Files is a series of short stories following the misadventures of a cowardly assistant named Thug and his boss as they travel the multiverse and collect tales. In their adventures, Polka Dot and Thug travel to different planets and dimensions by using tree portals, which is what I often illustrate in my paintings. On their travels, they meet dragons and fairies and tricksters, whom I also illustrate. When they're not traveling, Polka Dot and Thug live in a personal pocket dimension called the Island of Doors. This island is home to a dark forest with thousands of trees and each tree has a spinning blue portal on its back, leading to a completely new world. Polka Dot and Thug hop through these portals. The island is not actually their home, it is a means of travel for them. Their actual home, where they eat and sleep and classify the stories they've collected, is a mansion called the Polka Dot Mansion. From the outside, it did not look very much like a mansion. It was an innocent-seeming treehouse with mold on its wood and mice in the attic. A small square box with a balcony on all four sides. But inside, oh, inside was a treasure. Dozens of rooms, a library, a greenhouse, a music room, a ship in the ceiling. I don't remember how I started writing the story. Somehow, Thug was just always around. He's the closest friend of my imagination and I've grown to know him even better than I know myself. Thug is the main character and unreliable narrator of these stories. He's a furry, humanoid creature with wings and other features from various species of animals, like a hybrid. So how did he end up an assistant to a god? Who named him? And why is he so loyal? Thug's boss, Polka Dot, is a god-like being and she is shrouded in mystery. The most prominent thing about her is her navy blue coat, which Thug often snuggles under when he's frightened. Another companion they have on their adventures is a shape-shifting vehicle called the Con Artist, which they often use in caravan mode or bicycle mode for shorter journeys within a world. This vehicle is a temperamental character on its own and doesn't get along with Thug very well. Adventuring and exploring new worlds lead Polka Dot and Thug to discover new species of creatures. Some are friendly and aid them in their journey, some are malicious. All of them sense something different about Thug, as if they have never seen a creature like him before. And they probably haven't because Thug is the last of his kind. The malicious creatures almost always want to make Thug their dinner, gathering that his flesh could grant them powers. I hope you enjoyed the style of video and storytelling. I'm excited to create more videos like these about the world and misadventures of Thug. If you would like to read some of these stories for free, I have previews available on my website for each story in Volume 1 and upcoming stories from Volume 2. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.